Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego <laughs> with the beautiful Karina, my lovely Tina. And we're waiting for our K-1 visa to get adjudicated at the service center in California, USA, on the way over on the west coast, over here. And we're way over here, where well, I am at the moment, in the, on the east coast, near Pensacola, north of Navarre Beach, in the Panhandle of Florida. And Navarre Beach is where Karina and I are going to get married once we get our <laughs> visa adjudicated. Okay. Our NOA 1 letter is dated April 18th. 2022 and uh, we're waiting and waiting patiently just like you guys it's just a process okay Homeland Security created it we live with it and this video is about the NOA 2 letter and the expiration date okay what ha what's this expiration date on the NOA 2 letter everybody's having a heart attack about it. let me go over it with you please relax now on the NOA 2 letter when you get it in your hand it says this Visa process that this letter expires in four months, and you and you're freaking out because you're saying to yourself, "Well, it's taking three months or four months just to get the welcome letter, and then it's taking two months or three months or four months to get a visa interview, and it's taking a month for the NVC to mail my paperwork to the embassy. That's longer than four months, right? You're, you're good. Your math is perfect, and USCIS understand this, okay?" So when you get that NOA 2 letter, please disregard the four month timeout because it doesn't expire while you are still going through the immigration process. So if it takes five months to get your welcome letter, your, your NOA 2 letter has not expired, okay? You, it hasn't expired, okay? Trust me. USCIS will not expire your pass your NOA 2 letter because it's their fault that it took four months, five months to get your MVC welcome letter. So congratulations if you got your NOA 2 letter. Okay. Disregard the four month termination expiration date. Okay. Disregard that. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna wait for your MVC welcome letter and however long that takes is however long it takes. When you get the MVC welcome letter, then you go and create a SEAC account, start processing your K-1 visa, pay the visa fee, create, you know, input the information for the DS-160, try to schedule the visa interview, okay? If it takes five months from now, if it takes a month past your NOA-2 letter, oh well, that's the process. Has your NOA-2 letter terminated? Has your visa expired? No, you're still in process. Now, if you ignore the MVC welcome letter, if you get your MVC welcome letter and you don't respond to it for, for six months, well, sure, then you're gonna, then your NOA 2 letter is going to expire because you, you, Mr. Sponsor, Ms. Sponsor, quit the process, not USCIS. But USCIS, understand, it takes time to get the MVC welcome letter, to schedule the visa interview, to fill out the forms and, and everything else. So when you get your NOA 2 letter, please do not panic if it says it expires in four months, because it doesn't. Once you pay your visa fee, okay, you get an automatic one year fiscal year extension on your NOA 2 letter, automatic, one year. And uh, hope this helps you guys, okay? Don't sweat this process, don't stress it, it's easy. And uh, we have, I do the live stream for you guys on Wednesdays at 5 p.m., on Saturdays at 7 p.m., and Sundays at 11 a.m. See you at the live stream. Ask your questions to me live. And uh, we will see you then. And guess what? Very soon you're going to have your K-1 and K-2 visa in your passport. And you're going to be flying on your airplane to the United States. See you at the live stream. I'll be back.